Come on, just get a crit. Just get a crit. Just get a crit. Yeah, okay. A, a crit would save you now. Yes! Let's go! Let's go! Really? Oh. Really? I got dicked by a Pelipper! Wake up in the morning feeling like P. Diddy. I got Calm. my glasses. I'm out the door. I'm gonna hit this city. Dumb. Before I leave, brush my teeth with a bottle of Jack. Kiss it my lead. Oh my god. Sorry. No, I'm not even gonna lie. Go! You whipped out that high-pitched voice. You whipped out that helium Ooh. effect, and I genuinely thought that you were being abducted by an alien. Welcome on back <laughs> to the Pokemon Generation <laughs> race. I got really hot in between episodes, and I just had to take off my hoodie. Oh, and, yeah, you uh, did. Yo, but but check this out, though. Like, oh, yeah. I feel like this is such a dope fit. Like, it's nothing, like, fancy or special, but, like, I don't know. It just everything matches. It looks really good. <laughs> yeah, no, you, you beat the basic standard of looking good in a fashion sense. I like it. And especially, I mean, I gotta hey. say, what's really bringing it over the edge is that merch from AsteroidMerch.shop, which the URL does not work, but there is a link in the description if you guys are interested. By the way, wait, we're both wearing our merch today. Or my merch yeah, We're today. both wearing your merch. <laughs> this is not. <laughs> <laughs> we're both promoting. In the next episode, can we both wear 50k shirts please that only have like be, two shirts out <laughs> that would be that would be cute I, that would be adorable oh yeah but anyways though if you missed the last episode it was up on my channel so definitely make sure that you go check it out and uh yeah no this hat i i've been wearing this hat for the past few episodes now uh but i just came in the mail the other day it's a brand new hat it's a naruto hat look at that that's actually really freaking nice i like that a lot does it have like the little that's like the little uh Hidden leaf yeah. Sy yeah. Sy symbol, yeah. Yeah, it's the hidden leaf symbol, which is the village that Naruto and Sasuke and all the other main characters are from. I don't know, it's just, I didn't, like, plan this, but the black hat, the white Naruto symbol, and the white asteroid mania text, like, all this, I, it's, I'm proud of this, man. The confidence is up in yeah. today's episode, so yeah. definitely make sure to get some hype all up in the comment section for the next episode of Generation Race. Finny just learned Shadow Ball. Let's go. Yeah, no, I gotta say, that's like, uh, if we're gonna talk about balls. I just got an ultra ball. Oh, no, I gotta say, that's actually, that's like the one thing, the one place where I'm struggling right now is, uh... Like the ball department? Please no, tell with, the people. What are no, you going with, through, man? With moves. <laughs> oh, so what the hell did that have anything to do with balls? I don't know, like, I just, I just wanted to say the word balls. I didn't have a good segue there. But what okay. I'm saying <laughs> is that I'm just having a lot of problems with, like, the moveset. Because, like, my mods are really good, it's just, like, I'm waiting to get surf. Like that's gonna that's gonna oh, be a game changer okay. with Ginny, and then I'm also waiting to get just like literally any other offensive TM with with Mew, and then we're set. You know what I mean? Um, bet, bet, bet. So for me, uh, I really don't actually know the best plan of attack. So I just finished all the Steven stuff. Combuskin's level 21, isn't Steven's ace like 17? Yeah, you're you're probably fine. I mean, I would maybe grind for a couple more episodes, like maybe four or five episodes, just okay. to make sure that you really are good. But yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, I see that. So you think that I should probably go in with your cage lock strategy of getting one of my Pokemon to level almost 50 <laughs> before a gym bed? Frank, you, that is ridiculous. You can't even deny it. <laughs> no, I don't. So in the cage lock, by the way, check out the cage lock with Vinny. It's freaking awesome. Uh, but we literally, I grinded my Hyper Ugly to level 50 before the first gym. <laughs> it was, God, it was so funny, man. But I mean, listen, it, you know, not going to spoil anything, but uh, you do what you got to do. You do what you got to do uh, to survive. Okay, did you end up actually, because this video is not going to go up for a few days, I think it's okay if you kind of spoil how that cage match went. How did it go? Because I actually don't know. I'm not saying I'm 2-0 right now, but, uh... Oh. Ooh, are you actually 2-0? Are you actually beating Vinny? Yeah, right now I'm, I'm, I'm winning. I'm winning right now. Yo, I'm actually excited about that! Because Also, in case you guys didn't know, uh, Vinny won season one of their cage lock, so the fact that now that, dude, you're going to make that comeback, and in Johto of all regions, like, dude... Dude, it's your worst gen, and you're still going to be able to beat Vin. That's awesome. No, yeah, it actually, I mean, the grinding is what did it. I mean, just straight up, you know, like if I, like if Vinny would have grinded, you know, the, the, to the same point that I had grinded, he would have probably had it. But like, it was only mm -hmm. because of the grinding that I was able to skim by. And actually the matches were like surprisingly close. Um, so even though you had a solid 40 level lead, it was still neck and neck. Well, I mean, you know, all the Pokemon are at level 50. So it's like, you oh. know, I, I didn't. So wait, who did he end up sending in? What was his move set? Um. Well, so 
I mean, I guess I guess we're really. I mean, if you guys want to see the full series, go check it out. Um, but uh, Frank, <laughs> <laughs> look, okay, hear me out, man. I'm a busy boy, okay. I, I I can't keep up with every single episode of every single project in our friend group. <laughs> Sorry that I'm asking how my friends series are going. All right, in in my time in a call with you. Dude, right, I don't know saying. what's wrong with you. I watch every single one of your videos in it, in its entirety multiple times. What happened to the last episode of Crash Bandicoot? The FBI got called. Oh my God, how'd you know? <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, it was kind of in the thumbnail. Oh, uh, okay, yeah, that'll do it, that'll do it. <laughs> no, I literally, well, though, I, I, did, I did watch the beginning of that video. I'm actually, I'm, I'm really like, I, I, I don't know, it's such, such, such a good series, man. Like yeah. Crash, like those videos are really good. Dude, 100%. It's so fun to be doing something different because that is what me and Keyshawn's approach is with that Let's Play is to just try out new things with editing, to uh, try out new things with just approach with like the titles and the thumbnails. I saw one person literally leave a comment of just like, wow, what clickbait? I didn't know this was a crash episode. I was like, it's technically not clickbait. I did call the FBI in that video. I mean... It, that did happen. <laughs> yeah, it's um, it's like, I mean, that, that's the thing is like a lot of people aren't used to that sort of style of content. Style. Um, it's so different than what the format is in the Pokemon community, like the episode number and the thumbnail and, and all that kind of stuff, you know? But if you look at any other gaming content on this platform that's not Pokemon, it's like Pokemon's like almost like an outdated like format, you know what I mean? Yeah, Pokemon. It, weirdly enough, Pokemon is the outlier a lot of times. Um, like exactly. mo most people in the gaming community, like it, it is a lot more simplistic. It's a lot more. I, clickbaity is not really the right word, but it's like they, they use more enticing titles, more enticing thumbnails. It's like it's stuff that mm. makes you want to click. It's also a lot more fast paced, which is um, exactly jump cutty mid edits, which actually speaking of that, too. This is my favorite part about that Crash Bandicoot series is uh, the way that me and Keyshawn have been splitting the, the work on it. So Keyshawn is doing the mid edits or. Uh, Keyshawn's doing the jump cuts uh -huh. and then I'm doing the mid edit. So Keyshawn watches the episodes in entirety because they're like 50 minute episodes. Uh, it's a hard game and it took us forever to beat every single level. Yeah. Uh, and then he'll send me the footage of the jump cut versions and then I add in mid edits. Uh, sometimes Keyshawn will write down notes of being like, hey, I had this idea here, I had this idea here, but for the most part, it's kind of cool to see like our creative minds just collide on a project like that, you know? It's a super yeah. different approach than anything that we've ever done before, which is so fun. So how um, do you, how long do those videos take to edit for you? Like just, just like your half? About two hours, like a normal Pokemon video, honestly when my PC works. Uh, yeah. <laughs> that, that, that's the thing. What, right now, while my PC is literally not working how it should be, uh, it's been kind of difficult. I'm not even going to lie. It's been, you know, probably think about it more like three to five hours. Um, but it should be like two, you know? Yeah, yeah. So, so okay, what... Um, um, I, I'm, I'm curious because I, I like this type of content is like really cool. So it's like, mm -hmm. like how long do the videos end up? Like what does he usually cut them down to? All right, so like if it's like a 50 minute episode, they, Keyshawn does what he can to keep them uh, under 15 minutes. It's his goal. So he does some like, he has to be pretty, uh, Strict. Strict. Yeah, yeah, with the cuts. He has to be yeah. pretty strict with his cuts and kind of, you have to cut out some stuff of, oh, darn, I guess we did say something funny, but no one's going to know, uh, except for the members, because we actually have been putting out, like, the uncut versions for the members on the channel in the core click. So uh, if, if you want to see us, like, in the entirety, almost like a regular Pokemon Let's Play at that point, where everything's left in, no cuts, not fast-paced, if you're into that type of style of content better, you know? Yeah, no, it's kind of it's kind of interesting because it's like I think we've been so programmed with the Pokemon stuff to like keep everything, Leave everything in. in. Yeah. yeah, and like and like just like no matter what, like just try to you know even if it's be like, funny the entire time. <laughs> Honestly, uh, yeah. Well, there's, there's that. Yeah, but it's mm -hmm. like, what am I trying to say? I can't I can't process my words right now. Like, okay, That's a mood. this is a good <laughs> example. If this were any other type of content, what just happened there would have been cut out. <laughs> Yes! Yo, that is amazing example right there. Good stuff, Frank. Thank you, thank uh, you. I worked yeah. really hard on it. But it's like oh, when yeah. you're when you're trying to when you're prioritizing making content that's fast paced, sometimes you have to cut out, like you have to pick which things that you say is funnier than other things. Uh, like exactly. you, you have to have like a you have to have like a funny threshold, like a very yep. strict funny threshold. Mm -hmm. And if it's Which not, is very, very, very different than Pokemon Let's playing, where everything is 
left in, honestly. Yeah. And it's really cool to take a look at the uh, the Let's Play of uh, Crash Bandicoot. The first five videos we recorded in a session, then we started doing the editing, then we did episode six onwards. And you can tell in my commentary that, oh, uh, Ryan's trying to commentate the entire thing right now as if that that's kind of just what my brain normally does, you know? Yeah, uh, yeah. In these type of Let's Plays. But Keyshawn actually was a, more silent in those episodes than normal. And it was weird because it didn't feel like I could bounce off of him 100% of the time, like I'm used to, you know? Yeah, but, but it's like... When yeah. you bring in the final product, it's like, oh, wow, this is... that. It's it's actually, it works, you know? Yeah, yeah, because it's like Keyshawn, obviously, he he was more aware and, you know, more like yeah. accustomed to the fact that, like, not all of this is yeah. being left in. We don't need to commentate for the entire mm -hmm. thing, you know? Yeah, uh, Keyshawn had, like, a very, very set, like, vision for this Crash Bandicoot series going into it, and I really didn't, because the entire approach to the project was we want to try to not be Poketubers, <laughs> if that makes sense, because uh, that's not the type of content that Keyshawn typically watches, so he wants to try to make something that he watches, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah. So it's just so cool, and you can see that in the mid-edits, you can see that in the jump cuts, so we're just trying out a new approach. It's really, really fun stuff, honestly. Yeah, I actually, like, most of the time, I, I actually prefer that type of content nowadays. Same. Um, you just know? because so, it's, you know, it's just more accessible. Um, it's so much more digestible. Like, I, you don't always have uh, 30 minutes to an hour to watch a full Pokemon video, you know? But, what, a 10 to 15 minute uh, Crash Bandicoot episode? That's so much more digestible. It's really, really cool to just try out new forms and genres of content. That's where I want to take... Uh, the content on my channel going moving forward uh, except for the Pokemon stuff <laughs> honestly yeah and it's like you know we've tried this in the past um, we've tried yeah. to, to, to in generation race actually we didn't cut anything in generation but we did like try that like a, just a different approach like that you know and wow you guys hated it <laughs> <laughs> well that that was a little different I mean yeah I like okay I don't think I don't think people w would hate a more um, a more fast-paced let's play uh, for Pokemon stuff. Yeah, and I think it like it's the problem with Pokemon, right? Mm -hmm. And the reason why it doesn't really work with Pokemon is because in a Nuzlocke situation, or especially especially yeah. in a Versus situation, you kind of you kind of need the full context of the gameplay to yes. get to get the whole idea. Like for like one-off or games that don't like. Cause like with Pokemon being an RPG, it's like you kind of have to know like okay, you need to know like the movesets of the mods, you need to know what their team is at any given time. Like that yep. sort of thing is needs to be known, and you have to know kind of like a spatial awareness of like where they are in the game. Yep. Um, but like with any other mm -hmm. game, like a racing game like Crash Bandicoot, it's like you don't need to know all the context. Or like Call of Duty uh, is like a very fast-paced type of content on Jan uh, on YouTube with gaming. Uh, it, yeah, you, you're absolutely you hit it uh, nail on the head right there. And that's stuff that we've just learned over the years from making Pokemon content, you know? Uh, and we wouldn't have learned these kind of things if we didn't experiment and stuff like that. So it, it's so fascinating. Uh, Keyshawn and I actually have talked about though, uh, the next time that he visits Georgia, uh, we do actually want to do a, uh, a Soul Link together and try out jump cuts and edits and all that for, uh, for a Pokemon project. So. Hopefully you guys don't hate that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean it's because I mean we I think we've we've both had these ideas like spread out throughout our channel's lifetime. Cause like a good yeah. example is like my battle revolution playthrough. Um, yes! I, yes! I was like that like the jump cutty fast paced approach is exactly mm -hmm. what I did with if you guys look up my battle revolution LP, um and mm -hmm. especially the beginning episodes. A lot of those episodes yep. is that's the exact approach I was going for. Did I pull mm -hmm. it off successfully? I don't know. I mean, I'd say so. I loved it. I loved that Battle Revolution LP. Yeah, like I thought it was good in some ways, but it's like it, that's the thing is you end up losing that context, and that, exactly. that's, that's why that's why I just I don't know if it works for Pokemon, and if there's a way to make it work for Pokemon, I just haven't found it yet. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, that's a mood, dude. Did you know that that part one of your Battle Revolution LP has like thirty something thousand views? Like that series <laughs> somehow like nailed it. <laughs> what the hell? Why? Yeah, <laughs> dude. I saw it the other day, and I'm like. I don't remember this series popping off like that when you first dropped it. That's so cool. <laughs> yeah, I mean that that is that is awesome. I I am like overall very happy with that project, and it was nice to play a game because like it wasn't even a Nuzlocke; it was just Battle Revolution. <laughs> yeah, you know, which is so cool. I edited a few of those episodes. It was really really fun. <laughs> oh, you did? Yeah, yeah, good times. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Oh man, but uh, I've even tried experimenting with that with the Pokemon stuff too. Like my Pokemon Emerald Egglock. Uh, it's actually my first Poketubing project ever. Uh, on the channel. I actually uh, wanted to try out 
uh, you know, fast pace, jump cuts, mid edits. Please don't hit yourself, you'll die. Oh my God. Oh, oh, oh. oh. Yeah, I'm not even gonna lie. I'm, I'm probably gonna lose here. Are you for real? Yeah. Oh. Wait, wait, do, do you have potions? I've used all of my potions. I, I did go into this gym battle with multiple potions, uh, by the way, it, but I ended up using all of them because Pelipper, did, did I not call it? Did I not call it? It was like one water type and it would, it, it would, <sighs> Jesus. I mean, okay, you still, you still, if you lose here, you get to go back to your save state, right? The one I forgot to make, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh God, Ryan. Oh no, I've, I've been really trying to be on top of that. Yeah. yeah. Oh, God. Okay. I don't know what we're going to do then. Yeah, we'll figure it out if we hit lose, which is... <sighs> that I don't even know how to have played this different, man. I like. I even went into the gym overleveled. Like, Combuskin's in the 20s. I, I don't know, man. Yeah. And also for everybody in the comments here, it's like, why aren't you using the Ampharos? It's times four, you idiot. It, Ampharos is dead. Uh, that, 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 I just forgot to put him in the PC. Um... <sighs> I don't, I literally don't even know. Like, so, what, am I supposed to go to Doduo? Like, yeah, wing attack's not very effective on you, but what, I'm gonna peck you to death? No, flying, like, flying is actually neutral on flying. Oh. Um, yeah, I would, I, oh God. Okay, so do, Finny, Finny outspeeds, right? What do you have? No, no, Finny does not outspeed. He's level 10. Oh, uh, okay, I mean, honestly. I, I lost, I, I literally think that I lost. Damn, do you? I was gonna. Uh, I feel like what I'm gonna have to do is I gotta heal the combust and on the off chance I could somehow kill the Pelipper and because th this is my final potion. I had like 15 of them or something like that going into this gym battle in the first place. Um, but I gotta heal the combust and I'm gonna have to sack Vinny. Oh, God. I mean, honest, or maybe you could even stack. No, yeah, you just gotta heal. You just gotta heal. Yeah. Does combust out speeds right? Yeah, but what the hell am I gonna do to a Pelipper? I mean, look at his health. Do you he, not, went for the, he went for a potion. Do you... Oh, God, what do you have? Uh, Scratch, Peck, Double Kick, Ember. I have a Charcoal held on the Combuskin. Maybe Ember will be strong. I don't know. Nah, it's not going to... I mean, you can maybe get a burn, but that's not... Exactly. I think that that's... Am I, I, I mean, that's the thing. Even if I get the burn, it's like... I still got to be able to, like, I don't know, heal spam in order to let the burn chip him down. What's uh what what is Cubone like what 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 are you... you mean the level two yeah uh that that's that's not gonna do much water gun will literally kill him oh yeah, god I... that sucks I'm just getting dicked in this <laughs> Hoenn let's play yeah. like honestly I <sighs> like what will do the most damage I mean I gotta focus that like a burn would be nice but what Ember's probably not gonna do much you know. I, I think I think double kick actually would do. No, um, well I tried it. Uh, Scratch does more. Scratch does more than double kick. Well, yeah, flying resist fighting. Um, is I think is Peck stronger than Scratch? If Peck is stronger than Scratch, then I'd go for I'd go for Peck. Yeah. I mean, forty I, thirty five. No, Scratch is stronger. The only other thing that I think is like, well, Ember could burn. Yeah. Jesus, I don't know. Man, I think I think I think you just gotta go for you just gotta go for scratch and hope for a super ultra mega crit. <laughs> Could you imagine? It's like a point zero 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 eight percent chance for a super ultra mega crit. Like we find we discover a new mechanic in Gen three, <laughs> like twelve years later. <laughs> yeah. Oh God, that sucks. So you, I don't know how we're gonna get you back to that safe state. You're just gonna have to. Have to I might. I'll probably have to replay. Or well, I mean, okay. What you have a save state from like slightly before, right? Because you saved obviously in between episodes. So maybe maybe just load that save up and then just play back wherever you need. Yeah, that's what we need to do. <sighs> that sucks. Dude, this just pisses me off because I'm already losing. Yeah. Like, if, I don't know. If I was in the lead, then I wouldn't really mind a Nuzlocke death as bad, you know? Like this is just gonna set me back. I could. God, I'm gonna have to do all the Team Aqua and Magma stuff again. All the. Devon part stuff again. It's the, I don't have encounters. Like that was what it was. I mean, well now like, now you can get new encounters, which is nice. Maybe. 
I don't know, man. Like, it was the Lugia, and it whirlwinded me. Of course, I'm not going to catch that. Then everything else was like a Sentret. It was a Lunatone. Like, come on, that's t trash. Yeah, yeah. I mean, honestly, just... I mean, well, at least... Okay, you don't have to go all the way back, because where, where are you at right now? Uh, the, the second gym. This is Brawly. Oh, okay. So you would... Yeah, you would just... I mean, it's not... The gap's not too bad from the first gym to the second gym. Uh, like, literally, literally what? You just deliver the letter, and that's it, right? Yeah, like the gap's not bad. Like you could, you could come back, dude. You're you're gonna you're gonna have such a good lead on me now. Cause what? You already beat the third gym now, right? No, not yet. I'm, I'm about to, but. Movie. I don't know. I mean, I guess I could hope for. Technically, actually, if you lose to the third gym, then I mean, like we would still we'd be neck and neck again. We'd be at the same spot. Yeah. I mean, it's not. It's not the end of the world, you know? Yeah. I mean, it's it's not the end of the world, but God, I'm pissed. Like, I don't even think there was another way that I could have won this battle, unless I would have grinded Mew more. I already slapped the experience share on Mew in the first place, and there's a specific reason why I didn't grind the Mew, is because I knew that I was going to need Combuskin to be overleveled, you know? Yeah. 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 That sucks. So do you want... Uh, so, okay, should we stop, make a jump cut? Yeah, let's make a jump cut, and then we'll figure this out. All right. Bye. Hey guys! Hey. Uh, so Ryan doesn't have a save state. So okay, here's what we're gonna do. <laughs> here's what we're gonna do. We talked about it. We're just going to make Ryan sit still for ten minutes. That's that's just gonna be the penalty. Um, the team that he took into the gym is gonna be back. It's just yeah. it's one of those things where like we can't get a save state and we can't recreate the save state in the, the exact conditions that he had at mm. that time. Um, and at this point, it's just, it would honestly be more of a punishment if he just sat still for 10 minutes. Yeah, because, so, okay, let's think about what's in between the first gym and the second gym. You do the Team Aqua stuff in the Rust Turf Tunnel, and then you deliver the Devon parts. And even technically, technically, you can still deliver uh, the Devon parts after the second gym as well. It's optional what order you do that in. So uh, the fact that I just have to stand still, I I'm just going to lose... I'm not going to play the rest of the episode, and that'll be, honestly, a bigger punishment. Uh, the other thing that happened was that Ampharos died uh, in between these gyms, but we're going to keep Ampharos dead again, punishment, for uh, yeah. forgetting to make a save state and doing the checkpoint system that we promised to do at the beginning of the series. Yeah, so it's like it's one of those things where, like, you know, with the checkpoint system, technically the Ampharos would have been still alive because you're, you're basically going back in time. Yeah. Um, but, but because of, you know, just how it ended up happening, we're just going to penalize him with that. He's going to sit still for 10 minutes and then we're going to call it a day. Mm -hmm. so. And, uh, I still, am not going to get to redo my encounters for Duford town, the other route and the other route and the granite cave. So honestly, like all of this, I I'm getting more screwed <laughs> than yeah. if we did this, uh, checkpoint system. So team pineapple, Hey, look, man, the universe just doesn't want us to have the dub, but we will persevere. I've been dicked in this <laughs> gen race like six times now yeah. and we're still only one badge behind frank i think we can still come up like it's we can come yeah. back no and i mean the thing is like if i lose to this gym right now we're at the same point <laughs> like yeah like straight up um which is actually nuts <laughs> yeah. to think about <laughs> yeah and I, I do have my safe states so like that would yeah that would happen so yeah, we would literally be neck and neck so literally i'm at the point where i can just sit back relax and just watch frank uh yo can you throw on some netflix behind you uh let's watch some 70s show why let's you don't you don't like mario got by the way we gotta finish that show yeah, we do. Oh my god. That was god. the roommate show that Frank and I started when he moved here. And then he decided to leave before we finished it. That's against the roommate code, bro. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Yeah. I will honestly though, like w sometime soon, we just got to meet up. And we just got to finish it. We just got to knock out the entire thing. Can we please? Can we when when's your housewarming party? You you got a whole new place to live in and you haven't you haven't had a party, man. What the hell? I don't know. Well, I'm waiting. I'm waiting on, um, well, specifically, I'm waiting for my furniture, which actually gets here tomorrow. Oh, my God. Yo, by the time this video comes out, I'm going to have my couch. And here's a picture of his living room. Bop! Oh, it's so nice. Oh, my God. <laughs> Dude, oh. literally. I'm I'm so I'm so psyched for you. Like not even gonna lie, I still at the time that we've recorded this episode, I still have not been to uh, Frank's place yet. I want to see it. I really really do. It's exciting stuff. I'm excited. <laughs> I'm excited for you to see it. It's gonna be it's gonna be really cool, man. I'm excited for it to just come together and you know. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> let's not. Yo. Let's not, let's not lose you. the lock here now. Yo. <laughs> One hop this time. Bam. Bam. One hop this time. Bam. Bam. Cha cha. Real smooth. <laughs>
<laughs> yeah, let's go to work. Dude, that that line in the cha-cha slide as a kid always confused me. Because, you know, after you cha-cha real smooth, you know, then that's when you do uh, turn it out. And I was like, okay, cool. Eight-year-old Ryan understands that one. You turn. But what the uh -huh. hell does go to work mean? Why? What? What? Come I don't on. know. It doesn't, it doesn't make a lot of sense. It really no. doesn't. No, it doesn't. Uh, in music class, when I was in elementary school, they had like dance lessons. And you know, they were like, you're gonna be doing these, the cha-cha slide, you're the Cupid shuffle, uh, don't stop believing, all of that. It uh -huh. will be happening many times in your life. Those are like the go-to wedding reception songs. You better learn how to do the damn cha-cha slide. Like, you will <laughs> yeah. not succeed in life. If no, it's cha -cha. actually <laughs> it, is, it is actually ridiculous how often that song pops up. Like I remember, um, like those those types of songs were always the types of songs you would learn, like when you would do dance in like PE. Yeah. Yes, 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 yes. Because it comes up in every single uh, school dance. It comes up in every single wedding reception, banquets. A lot of times, it's like. Honestly, so I mean, you know that I, I used to perform magic. We traveled around the US and all that fun stuff uh, performing. We've done a lot of banquets and weddings and all that fun stuff growing up. I've heard the cha-cha slide too many times in my day. Honestly. Yeah, no, I, I don't blame you. Yes, I got the crit. Thank God, I won't lie. One more bite and if it was a high roll or a crit, we would have died. But it's cool. Yeah, and then we would have been at the same spot, which, <laughs> oh boy, that would have pissed off the comments more. Could you Honestly, though, that'd be, I'm, listen, I'm not trying to lose, right? I would never try to lose. But, like, mm. that would be, just from like a competition <laughs> standpoint, yeah, like, the fact that we ended this episode been, at the same point. Yeah, be crazy. I'm not even going to lie. As a viewer, like, yeah, we're kind of playing, well, I'm kind of playing like trash, but that would be so exciting to see, you know, of just like, oh man, Ryan lost again, but then like you surprise lost at the end and we're just nook, 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 nook. Yeah. I'm so excited. No, it's like, oh, it's man. weird. Why are, like we steamrolled through Johto. Like it was yeah. ridiculous, but it's like, Hoenn, we're just getting cream pied. It's bad. I What's this weird stuff? You haven't lost the Nuzlocke. You're still going. You you're going. Well, I you're mean, going I, and going. well, I mean, I, I mean, I, we had struggles though. Like I, I haven't struggled, you know, in the lock this much since, like 1984. Oh oh oh. <laughs> Did you ever have to read that book in high school or no? 1984. Was that the one about the fire? No, there was not the one about the fire. Uh, <laughs> I don't even know what that means. That, that was not specific at all. There's probably lots of books about fires, Frank. No, no, no. But I, oh my God, I swear to God. Was it, oh, was it Fahrenheit? Was that the name of the book? That makes more oh, sense. Oh, the one's about fire. You're right. Yeah, I think you know, the one you're talking about. Yeah, that one. Yo, screw you. I, what? You're the one who said it. No, no, no. no, no, no. 1984 is that, you know, um, the saying, Big Brother's always watching. Have you ever heard that? Was that like with the government and stuff? Yeah, uh, that that book I read at my senior year of high school. Actually, it was the exact same like time that Ultra and Ultra Moon was coming out. Uh, okay, actually, I shouldn't say that I read it. I uh, Spark Notes it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, dude, Spark Notes was my best friend in high school. Now I'm going to cap. <laughs> yeah, no Spark Bones Stark. You can tell I didn't actually read the book. Um, right. Dude, okay, so whenever I was like growing up in school and everything. I uh, I would only read books in English class if I was interested in them, to be totally honest. It was so hard to force myself to read a book if I, like, didn't really care about it. You know, like, The Crucible? Yeah. Oh, my God, The Crucible <laughs> was a nightmare. It was literally such a freaking nightmare. Shakespeare? Oh, my <clears throat> God, that was disgusting. Hamlet? I'm sorry, I couldn't do it. I could oh, not do Hamlet. So gross, so gross. <clears throat> Literally, dude, it was disgusting. There were a couple books that I was, I wish that I would have read, but I couldn't because I was a really busy boy at that time. Like, I wish I didn't spark notes Great Gatsby. I wish I would have read it because yeah. that book interested me a lot. Um, but that was during the Heart Cold Soul Silver Soul Link with Dylan. And I mean, it was either Great Gatsby or Inconsistency. And I mean, come on, what? <laughs> Priorities. <laughs> yeah. No, I actually, um, I, I never read the Great Gatsby, but uh, I like, with the spark notes and all that, like, I liked it. <laughs> Oh, yeah, exactly. It was a great story of Yee Spark Sparknotes, honestly. The book, or uh, the movie was really cool, too. Um, the movie was in cool. With the, Tobey Maguire uh, was in it, actually. Spider-Man. <laughs> wait, wait, Tobey No, wait, wasn't it, um... No, 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 no. The, but Gatsby, Gatsby's played by the, the guy. The Leonardo uh, DiCaprio. Yeah, yes. yeah, the guy who uh, started the little Dicky music video. Yeah, yeah, uh, <laughs> Wait, so wait, Tobey uh, Maguire was in it, too? Yeah, he was. Maguire, uh, great. I love I'm, I'm not playing the game. I can look this up. 
Yeah, yeah, look at him. That He's wearing a 50s outfit. Oh, uh, my God. Wait, wait, wait. Who who did he play? Do you know? Uh, well, I don't know, uh, but let me look it up. What Nick Carraway is who he was. Oh, yeah, Carraway, of course. I used to joke yeah. around at the time that The Great Gatsby was my favorite anime character. <laughs> I don't. I don't know why. I just. I just. I just. I don't know, man. I really. I really felt more attached to him as an anime than a, a movie. <laughs> I'll give you that, dude. Dude, the character development arc at the very end with like the car accident. I dude, I, I shouldn't try to talk about Great Gatsby. I barely remember <laughs> the plot. It was something something fifties parties. I, I. That's kind of what I got out of the book. Yeah. Um, yeah. No. Literally, what I did uh, in that entire Great Gatsby section of my high school career was. I, I had English class sixth period, and every day in fifth period, I'd read the spark notes of it. Uh, and then I would show up to class, do the worksheet, take a nap. Like, I'm not <laughs> even gonna cap. <laughs> That's such a mood. Right? I still ended up getting like, I think it was like a B plus or something uh, in that class, uh, <laughs> which was impressive for not reading the book ever. Um, yeah, and- yeah. It, it, was, it was fun. But yeah, no, Spider-Man's in that, in that movie, which is crazy. Right. That's awesome. Yeah, Tobey Maguire was in, like, a surprising amount of movies. Well, that's what actors do. I mean, that's... <laughs> what, what? Would you have been shocked if he wasn't in more movies? I Well, like, I, I don't know, man. It's like, it's one of those things where, like, I feel like he's kind of popping up everywhere. You know, like, he was a in... A little bit. He was in... Spider-Man. <laughs> <laughs> Sp- Spider-Man 3. Spider-Man 2. <laughs> uh, Great Gatsby. Uh, Wait, no, but what... Seriously, what else did he pop up in? And then I was like, I was like, what? I'm gonna look this up because honestly, I, I don't know. Uh, Tobey Maguire oh, movies. No way! I'm thinking about I'm thinking about Eric from '70s Show. How he was Venom. Oh yeah, yeah, Venom. Venom. Yeah. That's what I was thinking of. Yeah, I, I could not believe he actually played Venom, and it worked. Oh yeah, because okay, the thing is, is that Eric Foreman, that that actor, you think of it as such a goofy character, you couldn't see him being a villain, but no, no, it it works so dang well. Yeah. He he's actually a super talented actor. Shout out to Eric. Um, <laughs> That's not his name, but okay. Ah, <laughs> uh, sorry. Uh, shout out to Foreskin. Uh, really, really. My really, man, really, really my good, man, dude. My man, Foreskin, man. Oh God, do you my. have to go to class? Oh. Oh, that's scary. Oh! That's scary. Oh! No, it's good. It's good. We're fine. It's special. He's not. He's not especially. Oh, oh, he's getting oh, crit. It don't matter if he's a special attacker or not. If he's critting. I cannot, dude, I swear to God, I cannot, if I lose it, this is the gym bell, if I lose, I have to go all the way back to where you are. I know. No, I'm not even going to lie, man. From the competition standpoint, I want you to lose. No. I no, want you to I lose. I can't lose. No. He's dude, yawning. Okay, that's fine. Alone. That's fine. Is it fine? You're going to be asleep. He can go for his faint attack. Why am I helping? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, d- <laughs> sleep. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay, plus one, plus one mega. Yeah, that didn't do very much, Frank. nothing. And now you're a sleep, you're a slump boy. I should have switched out. You're kind of like, you, you're, all right, and boom, your Mew is me during the Great Gatsby section of high school. <laughs> oh, I should have switched out. Damn it. Oh, man. What was another great high school book? Animal Farm. Uh, did you ever have to read that? No, but it sounds okay. really dumb. Yeah, so basically the point of Animal Farm was it was supposed to be like a parallel to the Russian government. Don't get a crit! Except, okay, it, oh, that would have been bad. Uh, but all of the animals in that story were, uh, they were able to talk. So what they had to do at the barn was they had to overthrow the humans, which they did successfully somehow. It was impressive. And then the animals on the farm had to create their own government. It was it was actually like... So it's like yeah. Lord of the Flies, but with animals. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> yes, it was, honestly. And it was really cool. The spark notes, awesome job. Oh, that's, God, uh, that's awesome. Slack this man off. really just went for slack off. Dude, he has a way to heal. Yeah. He has to be able to put me to sleep. And he also mm. has a uh, super effective. A super effective move that can crit. Jesus Christ. I, I just, I just got to keep dragon dancing at this point. Yeah, basically. So what was your favorite book uh, throughout school? Um, definitely the. I know the answer, but I'd say it anyways. <laughs> yeah, no, definitely the outsiders. The outsiders are sick, dude. Also, uh, that was my favorite book growing up as well. I freaking, freaking, freaking loved The Outsiders. That's a movie that we got to watch. Screw 70 shows. Screw Sonic. Come on, man. Yeah. Outsiders. No, good good choice, dude. I love, I love. Uh, oh, yeah. Stay gold, pony boy. Um, who else is in that book? Uh, <laughs> nobody else, dude. Does anybody, yeah. care, does anybody care about anybody else in that book besides pony boy? I mean, like, I care about them. I just can't remember them. So, I mean. <laughs> oh, uh, wait. Was it, wasn't it Johnny who said that when he died? Right? Spoilers. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Did he die from, like, jumping out the burning building or something? I don't I, know. I just, I just gotta... 
I, I just gotta watch that book again. Yeah, I just, <laughs> I just remember it being yeah. good. Yeah, we should read that movie, to be honest. Yeah, uh, we should. That was actually a book that I did read, front uh, cover to cover, like, if they're at school. Oh, man, another good book that I read in school is Westing Game, which, did you ever have to read that or not? I don't think so, no. Oh, Jesus Christ. Dude, I oh, have man. to... I have to I have to wake up here soon. Come on. I don't like, have a lot of healing items either. Oof. I know. Dude, Oof. I'm like I'm like plus 3, so like a, a mega punch should do over half now. It's just like I have to get there. Yeah, you just have to wake up, pony yes! boy. Land. Yeah! Land. Yes. Okay. All right. Good stuff. Good stuff. Uh, we had a Westing game. That that was like a, a murder mystery uh book that it was uh took place in the 50s or something. It was really really cool. That's cool. Uh, what are other books? What are some books that you read throughout high school, honestly? Um, I think you've basically mentioned all of them that I care to. Oh my god, use the super <laughs> potion! Stop! Yikes! Oh my god, okay, I think- Do I have Dragon Ants again? No, I should have to go on the offense. I have to go on the offense. Because I think- I think two will kill him. Yeah. Oh my god, oh. no! <laughs> are you- Yo, so either he could go for slack off now and be back at full, or... Come on, just get a crit. Just get a crit. Just get a crit. Yeah, okay. A, a crit would save you now. Yes! Let's go! Let's go! Really, oh. game? <laughs> really? Really? Woo! I got dicked by a Pelipper, and you give slacking a crit! <laughs> oh. I got dicked by a Pelipper. Okay, <laughs> I, I'm asleep oh, again, but I have too many stat boosts to switch out now, so I'm just gonna have to commit. That's some fan art that I don't want to be made. Please don't don't draw me getting dicked by a Pelipper. Thanks, guys. <laughs> Astonish, that's super effective, but it does nothing. Okay. Yeah, no, Astonish is weak as hell. Oh, yeah. my God. I, that crit was so lucky. Holy, because, really dude, if it would have... That saved you. If it wouldn't have killed, he would have just kept healing, and then I would have run out of healing potions, or healing before he did. Yep, so, lovely. I mean, cool, my... We're not going to be neck and neck. Sorry, guys, competition's not back. Well, I mean, <laughs> you never know. I could I could lose here. Yeah, he might have like another slacking, honestly. <laughs> he could. I'm actually he I'm gonna dragon dance again just to make sure I can Ooh. one shot. The everything. balls on this dude, oh my god. Uh other books that I loved was uh Touching Spirit Bear. That was a really good one. I read that one cover to cover. Uh and then the other one was uh Devil's Arithmetic. That that book sucked. Screw that book. <laughs> I was not it was not fun. Uh what was another good one? There was a book called The Game that I read in eighth grade. I loved that. It was like um, it was like Sword Art Online, but book version. Oh, that's uh, cool. Love disc, really love disc. <laughs> let's go, let's God. go, baby! All right, third gym badge. This. Woo! Oh, nice. let's go. Uh, God, I'm, why am I reminiscing on high school books? I'm sorry, I'm still like really, really into this. Artemis Fowl is really, really dope. Obviously, I read the Harry Potters. What else? There's one more uh, that I'm trying to remember. Frick. You know, I've heard eh. I've heard a lot of like the books you're talking about, but I. I don't think I've read as many of them. I mean, I, yeah. I, like, I just don't remember a lot of them, you know? For somebody who really, like, craps over reading, <laughs> I, I've read a lot of books. What the hell? Yeah. <laughs> like, I feel like that's so unlike me. I feel like the comments section, like, wouldn't believe this. Of like, wait, what? Ryan reads? Or <clears throat> read, past tense. I don't think I've read a book in, like, four years. <laughs> somebody Anyways, you just, got blast Somebody <laughs> just got blast burn. Yo, get rid of Dragon Dance. Oh, no, mind. I'm not. I'm not a maniac. Oh man, you're just a mania. You couldn't get the C in your username. There's too many characters. Absolutely. So I think we should probably. I mean, it's been ten minutes, right? We can go and wrap it up. Um, yeah. Thank you all so much for watching. We do appreciate it. I mean, you, listen, you're mm -hmm. only one badge behind. It's actually, it's yeah. not bad. Um, yeah, it's not that bad. It's okay, Team Pineapple. We'll we'll recover. We can do it. <laughs> we got this. We are the factory. <sighs> let's, let's wrap things up, Tom. But yeah, uh, Tom, you guys know, Tom Tom says this very frequently. But hit the like button down below, comment, subscribe. Check out the next episode on Rye Bry's Sars channel. channel. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be freaking yeah. awesome. Um, yeah, so go, yeah. go give, a, give, a, give a look. I don't know. Come on. Watch. So I'll catch you all on my channel next time. Love you all so much. Sorry. And peace, peace. Peace.